I was not exposed to Latino literature till I was a junior in college. And you know what? I'm a confident, audacious young man. I was a book nerd too, but if you, t if you gave me shit about reading books, I would knock you on your ass. So people knew that, all right? So it wasn't as if I was afraid to get there. I didn't know how to get there. It took me all those years to get to that book by Pity Thomas, and it blew my mind. And now we got another brother. It's come on, boom. We are all linked by this one book. And I'm talking about, um, I was good at school. I hated high school. But then my idiot friends would screw up and have to go to summer school. And I'm like, let me get this straight. So you hate it here, but you're staying here longer. And I'm like, and the other thing too I found out fast was all I had to do is repeat what the teacher told me and they thought I was smart. I'm like, okay, you know, I'm like I got it, I got it. And then um, I started writing these stories, and again, our, our literary imagination, I had never read about Latino experiences. I had a professor in college who was like, why don't you write about your life? And I, 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 didn't, I didn't even know how to answer. Like, I'm like, people don't want to hear that. You don't do that. People don't do that. I read Peter Thomas, and he's re talking Spanglish. He's slinging that Spanglish. He's in the city. He's talking about being black, brown, Latino. He's Spanish, Spanglish, Spanglish. It's, you know, he's being, he's defying the system at the same time. He's fucking with the system, you know? It's like, that book changed, it literally changed my life. And this is what's being denied our young. So to me, uh, it's everything. It, it has to do with the dropout rate. It has to do with the future of the United States of America.